So the first two minutes of this video are me basically ranting about how terrible my makeup turned out. So feel free to skip forward to the da -da 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 -da, and then the video will start. Well, actually not really because then I continue to rant about what future videos that I will be filming soon. So go ahead and skip forward to the time listed on the screen if you do not want to see any of that. Anyways, thank you for listening. Enjoy the video. Okay, y'all. So I just watched some of this footage and I just... I'm so mad. I, I don't know if it's still there because I just blended it out. But... There is a line of makeup, of unblended makeup. This entire video, my foundation is not blended in with my neck. And on top of that, it's a whole other shade for my neck. It is orange and my neck is brown, which I noticed that today my foundation was not being my friend. Bruh. Okay, just ignore it. I'm having a terrible makeup day, obviously. And I was trying to have a good makeup day today. I went extra with the foundation. I never usually wear this much, which is why I never have this problem. But, okay, I'm just so angry because this is just so embarrassing and so, like, a freaking line. Are you kidding me? Because I definitely blended my makeup out three times because I always do that. I always, I use it with, I blend it out with a brush, I blend it out with powder, I blend it out with a sponge, and I blend it out with my foundation brush. I always blend my foundation to my neck and there is a harsh line the entire video, so please ignore it. Like, that is just, oh my god. I use Fenty Beauty, but... The shade's just not working for me today. It worked for me last week, but honey, it is just not it. It's very orange today. I don't know why. I don't know if it's always been like this, but it's not it. I'm going to go back to my other foundation. Next video where I apply on new makeup, we will not be using that shade of Fenty because this is unacceptable. I look orange. I took some pictures earlier today and it looked good in the pictures. And it looks okay in the mirror. I noticed that it was oranger than usual and I was like, what the heck? Okay, I did yard work for a day. Maybe that's what, maybe I got darker. But please, there is a line and I am oranger than usual, but just ignore it. It's just a bad makeup day. We all have it and, and a low key bad hair day. Ignore my appearance and just watch the video. Just had to clear that up before anyone tries to come for me. Do not come for me. Cause watch my other videos, except for my sensational what lace. Um, What's it called? The big curly one where I was wearing a red shirt with baby girl on it. That was a terrible makeup day as well. But besides this video and that video, I look great. So, I'm just kidding. My makeup is like, it, it, it's just, it has its good days. It has its bad days, which is why I keep it light most of the time. Because what? What is this? I'm so mad. I have never had that happen to me before. Maybe I have and I just didn't notice. But never on camera. I've never caught it on camera. So this is just new to me and it's making me really upset. But just ignore it. Okay. Okay. I think it's painful. Hey y'all, what is up? So today I'm gonna be showing you guys my body care collection, like my perfumes, body washes, all of that. Stuff. and I'm super excited I freaking love body care I have been collecting all this stuff since I got a job and was able to buy my own stuff and well even like gifts and stuff you know you feel me like I freaking love body care I have all of my old body care from since I was a youngin and everything and it's just I freaking love it I want my collection to be bigger I think this is mediocre honestly but I honestly like just don't have the room for it in my house now but I am moving which is why I'm doing this in the first place um some of you may know I am gonna be moving pretty soon like I don't know maybe a week or two I don't know but yeah I'm gonna be moving pretty soon and I'm packing so I wanted to like show you guys my stuff before I put them in boxes and yeah I have like a bunch of collections I think I might just like film like collections over the next week just because I have like a few collections some of them are not very big but you know I like watching collection videos I used to a lot when I was younger I could do like a purse collection or like a hoodie collection or like a sunglass collection or a makeup collection like there's so many options here so I have a lot of collections so I haven't done my phone case collection actually I've done phone case hauls I have two phone case hauls up so if you watch those you've pretty much seen most of my phone cases so that's not necessary but Another one will be coming soon because I got a new phone, so it's a very long intro, I apologize, but I know phone case hauls are like pretty popular on my channel, so I will probably doing, be doing another one once I move, just because I don't want to mix up the addresses and everything. So once I move and I'm settled and whatever, then I'll start 
ordering phone cases and a phone call phone bruh and another phone case haul phone case haul number three will be coming to y'all very soon let's just go ahead and get started i've been talking way too much the majority of this if you couldn't already tell is bath and body works because bath and body works is that store if you didn't know i'm gonna start with my minis my bath and body works minis so i have some body sprays right here so i have them organized by season here so i'm gonna start off with my winter time ones so first i have champagne toast which smells really really good i love this one and it's super pretty the Look at it, it's like sparkly and it's pink. It's gorgeous. I love this one. I got this like in a set and a trio. I got the lotion and the body wash as well, I believe. So yeah, I love that. Then I also have Vanilla Bean Noel, which is like my favorite wintertime set ever. Like I freaking love Vanilla Bean Noel. It smells so good to me. I love sweet scents. I love vanilla. And then A Thousand Wishes, which a lot of people really hype up, but I never really liked it that much. Like when it first came out, I got a lot of it and everything, but like I don't really love it that much. I don't know. I like it though. It's just like not my favorite. Here's my only fall scent, uh, Warm Vanilla Sugar, which I feel like everybody has this scent. It's a pretty typical Bath & Body Works scent. It's amazing. It's great. Vanilla is a bomb scent. Okay. I love vanilla. I also love the smell of chocolate, but I don't have any chocolate flavored like candles or body sprays. I wanted to get one, but my sister was literally gonna fight me if I got it. Like I was with her, so she was like, ew, gross, don't get that. It's like, it's called like hot cocoa and cream about the body works. It's this candle and I I wanted to get it, but she wouldn't let me. But I love chocolate. I really do. I don't know why I'm weird, but it's okay. I really like vanilla though. That's like my favorite. Okay, so next I have Paris Amore, which is like one of the first scents that I got at Bath & Body Works. This is one that my mother likes as well. So back when I didn't have a job, she would buy this for me and we all kind of use it. So yeah, Paris Amore. This bottle is literally empty. I probably will not be taking it with me because it's empty. I'm pretty sure this one's canceled. Okay, and so this next one is Rose. This is a spring scent. Ooh, that smells like a woman, <laughs> grown woman. This is something my mom would like. I think it's grown. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not grown, so I don't know. Cause it smells like my mom. It smells like some of the perfumes that she uses. It smells like a flower, just like it looks like. Very clean, very sophisticated. So I like to take my mini perfumes on trips with me. When I was in high school, I used to keep them in my gym locker. Um, sometimes I would just take a full size, but I really like to have minis on me at all times. I keep one in my book bag at all times. Sometimes I'll take it in my purse, but not really. I kind of stopped doing that. Um, anytime I travel, I don't take the large um, perfumes with me when I travel because TSA won't let me. So these minis are lifesavers because they are three fluid ounces, which is under the 3.4 mark. So yeah, that's what I take with me and I love them. Let's go into the shower gels that I have, which I also take with me to travel because they are also three fluid ounces. Okay, so the first one I have is Champagne Toast. This one matches the body spray that I got. I already mentioned that. Same with Vanilla Bean Noel, matches the body spray. Pretty sure I have the lotions for both of those too. I also have Winter Candy Apple, which is my sister's favorite scent, as well as Cucumber Melon. She likes these two a lot. I like this one too. I really like this. Winter Candy Apple smells like straight apple. It's a really nice scent. I love it. I mean, I'm pretty sure you already know what Winter Candy Apple is. And Beautiful Day, which was gifted to me on my birthday by my bestie Boo. And this smells really, really freaking good too. This is like a spring scent. It smells really clean and it's just, it smells like apple, yeah. Yeah. There's like an apple on the front. So now on to lotions. I love the mini lotions. I keep, I don't like the full size lotions. I only have two empties of them because I used to get them when I first started shopping at Bath & Body Works. They're lotion, you know, they're cool, but they don't last, you feel me? So like, I don't use them on my body. Like, I mean, even so, I would be layering it up because I never just use Bath & Body Works. Like, no, I don't put fragrance on certain areas of my body. But uh, still, I don't know, I just didn't see the point of buying lotions, so I switched to body cream. And that lasts, honey. So I keep mini hand lotions because when it's my hands, I don't really care. And I really like the size, they're super convenient, and I can like throw them in my purse, I can throw them everywhere. So I keep mini hand lotions, but not the big size lotions because I don't really like them. I prefer the body cream. Okay, so I have Champagne Toast yet again. Um, so yeah, I have the whole set there. I also have Into the Night, which I don't know what this smells like. Ooh, that smells wonderful. Oh my God, that smells good as hell. It's a description, raspberry noir, amber crystals, velvety rose petals. Yeah, I smell that. Um, mocha musk, ooh, creamy patchouli. I don't know what that is. That's really nice. I smell the mocha musk. 
and the rose petals okay so i have a thousand wishes which is an empty um i keep empty so that i can refill them with another lotion or with like regular lotion but i think i'm just gonna throw them away because i am moving i don't want to take an empty bottle so i have vanilla bean noel again so i have all three for vanilla bean noel as well I have winter candy apple, so I only have, I don't have a body spray for winter candy apple, but I want one. Winter is like the best season at Bath & Body Works. Or fall. No, fall can be kind of sickening sometimes. I don't really like pumpkins, so um, yeah, winter for sure. I love winter scents at Bath & Body Works. The Christmas ones, oh, they're all so great. Oh, I'm thinking about it now. Like, I have so many good ones. Oh, yeah. Frosted Coconut Snowball is in my purse or book bag or something. And it smells amazing. She was in my purse. I don't know why I was using wintertime one. I, I don't know. But yeah, I love this one. That's how much I love it. I use it all year. Next we have fall scent. Marshmallow pumpkin latte, which I don't know what this smells like. Ooh, that is nice. Oh, it is super, super sweet. So if you don't like sweet scents, stay away from this one. But I love it. It does smell like marshmallow. I don't know about the pumpkin latte. I don't like pumpkin lattes. Creamy sandalwood and praline musk as well. One candle that I used to have that I finished uh, was marshmallow fireside. I like that one. I like it. And my family hates when I burn that candle. <laughs> we conflict a whole lot when it comes to our scents. So I try to only burn candles that won't completely anger my entire family. Okay, y'all. I have four warm vanilla sugars. Um, yeah, I feel like this is everybody's favorite scent. Like, it's a great scent. My favorite scent is Cashmere Glow, but they discontinued it. But they still have warm vanilla sugar, so that's nice. This um, is an empty that I filled with something else. Actually, I think I filled it with Cashmere Glow. But yeah, this is what I was talking about. Yeah, that's Cashmere Glow. So I put Cashmere Glow body cream in this one because I had run out of warm vanilla sugar. These three are all warm vanilla sugar love this scent it's just your basic vanilla and it's really nice i like the scent a lot so you should go get yourself some more vanilla sugar honey okay another fall scent i have a champagne apple and honey so let's see what this smells like pink lady apple sparkling champagne jasmine honey and autumn woods that smells good but it's not that strong I will say that I'm struggling to smell it. It ain't that strong, but it does smell good. It smells like apple. It smells like exactly what it looks like. So here I have Love and Sunshine, which is an amazing scent. Like, oh, yes, ma'am. And I just got it on my nose. Okay. I like this one too. It just smells like flowers, basically. It's the last mini lotion that I have. Uh uh. I, it's not the last. I also have Beautiful Day because my friend gave me a set. So yeah, I have Beautiful Day, but that's in my book bag. Um, but the last one I have here is Hello Beautiful. So familiar like yo it smells like a body lotion that i use regularly that's like from walmart jergens maybe jergens but i usually use cocoa butter lotion so from my childhood i used to use lubriderm when i was a child so maybe that it smells really good though it's, it smells like generic lotion not the last one just kidding this one um i don't know i didn't buy this i found it and it's raggedy and it's crusty and i will be throwing it away because i've used it before too and it's really runny and it sucks but I'm sure when it was brand new, it wasn't like that. But it is Bath & Body Works as well. Um, I know it doesn't look like the typical Bath & Body Works, but it's hand lotion, not body lotion. And it's coconut lime verbena. It smells good. And it has like seeds in it too. So 18 minutes is about to be like a 40 minute video. But if you like long videos, this is for you, honey boo boo. This is for you. All right, I'm just going to jump right into my shower gels. I have two. I used to have so much more. I don't know what happened to them. I guess I finished them, but I could have sworn I had like more saved. I guess not. I don't really use Bath and Body Works stuff anyway. I use that, which I will show y'all later. But um, I have Sun Ripened Raspberry. It does smell like raspberry, but I don't know. I like it. I, I don't know. I don't really like it that much. But it smells like it smells like fruit. And then I also have Cashmere Glow, which is my favorite scent ever. And I'm so mad that they discontinued it. No, Velvet Sugar is my favorite scent too. But Cashmere Glow, both of them, both of them, Velvet Sugar and Cashmere Glow, the best scents of Bath and Body Works in my opinion. And they discontinued both haters anyways so yeah those are my body washes i really just use those like after my regular so just so my shower can smell good because they don't really like last either so i don't know when i'm feeling pamp like pamper routines you know when i feel like being extra i'll use those but yeah or if there's nothing else in the tub i'll use those next on to lotions i have vanilla teeny 
which was gifted to me by somebody I don't talk to anymore, but <laughs> it smells really good. It was actually a cheer gift because we did Secret Santa and I love it. Love Melatini. She gave me a perfume as well, which I'll show y'all later. But yeah, I love this scent a lot. I used it all the way down. I love this scent. It smells so good. Vanilla, creamy coconut, and lemon zest. It definitely smells like fruity vanilla. And I also have Sensual Amber, which is one of the first scents I bought as well. Exotic scent of pink lotus petals enveloped in golden amber. Okay. It's a strong scent. I will say that. It's, it's nice. It's a nice scent. I like it. So let's move on to body creams. So starting with the wintertime ones, I have Winterberry Wonder, which I love. It smells like berries, just like it's in the name. It smells like berries, it smells fruity, and it's super pretty. Look at this bottle. I love this one. And then I also have Coconut Mint Drop, which I haven't really used yet. I've used it a little bit, but it's minty. Um, it's minty and it's sweet. I like this one. White Coconut Iced Peppermint and Winter Musk. It's like a cool mint. It's not like Twisted Peppermint, but it's similar. I don't remember what Twisted Peppermint smells like. Um, then I have Vanilla Be Noel, which is my favorite scent. Bath and Body Works. Almond and Vanilla with Natural Almond Oil. I got this on a semi-annual sale, I believe. I can't smell it. I know what it smells like, though. I don't know how to describe this. It doesn't smell like almonds to me, but it's almond oil. It smells really good. Just know that. It's kind of sweet. Cashmere Glow, of course. But y'all need that. Um, Tutti Dolce Golden Honey Praline. This one is Caramel. And praline musk drizzled in golden honey. I love caramel, so makes sense as to why I bought it. This one smells great. As you can see, I have used it a lot, but yeah, I like that one. Okay, so spring scent, pretty as a peach. This smell like peaches? I don't know. I, I really like this scent though. I love this scent actually, and I really love the packaging. I think it's so cute. Okay, blushing peach. And then a bunch of flowers. Sounds about right. That's that's accurate. Okay. And then um, Georgia peach and sweet tea. Oh, I didn't know this was sweet tea. This smells almost exactly the same. I always confuse the two. It has the same description. This one adds sweet tea. So yeah, they're damn near the same thing. I also have body butters, which are my favorite at Bath and Body Works, but they're also the most expensive and they don't really put them on sale. But I have Love and Sunshine and Beautiful Day. I love both. Yeah, I already showed you guys these in lotion form. Oh, the body butters are supposed to be thicker. They're supposed to be the best. So like the thickest, like the, the most moisturizing in that sense. So yeah, if that's what you're into, because that's definitely what I'm into, okay? Let's move on to uh, Victoria's Secret body cream. This one, oh, this is lotion. This is Temptation Shimmer Lotion. I'm not tripping, but Victoria's Secret stopped making their scents like distinguished and different from each other. Every scent smells the same now, and I will show you which fragrances I hate from there and the old ones that I got that smell amazing. But I mean, I haven't been there in a while because I was so disappointed in the recent purchases that I've bought, but yeah. Okay, anyways, so this one does smell really good. It smells kind of like a flower and it's called Temptation and it's shimmer lotion so it's got gold sparkles in it. I don't really use shimmery stuff anymore because I used to be all types of glittered up and people like you have glitter on your chest. Like I know. I am aware. So now on to body spray. I have the Toy Secret body sprays. So yeah, let me just show y'all what I've got. First I have a shimmer spray. This one has silver sparkles in it, silver and pink. And this one is, what is this? Hot Crush by Pink. And this is one of those scents that doesn't really smell like much. But this is an old scent too. It smells kind of clean. Like, I know they have fresh and clean though. So, I don't know if they smell similar. I don't know. This is Jasmine and Warm Caramel. Okay, I never would have guessed caramel ever. But yeah, it smells like Victoria's Secret perfume because they all smell the same in my opinion. This one is super cute though. The packaging, fire. If I bought Victoria's Secret, it's probably because of the packaging. Their packaging is... A1 like yes ma'am okay look at this look at how cute this perfume bottle is anyway this is chill palm and it's supposed to be tropical palm and palo santo wood but it does not smell like anything so yeah and I also have a matching one that's pink and it's a different scent I don't know where it is so next we have temptation again but we have it in perfume form this is also a shimmer spray with the gold sparkles next i have pure seduction which i absolutely love this one has beautiful beautiful gold sparkles like a super pretty gold shimmer and i really like this one as well yeah that's nice this one's real nice and 
fruity. So this is Champagne Glow. This one looks pretty old. I don't even think it's mine. This one smells like laundry. And then we have this one, which is my favorite one. This is called Island Sun. I am wearing it right now and I absolutely love this scent. Okay, it is amazing. It smells like coconut and I don't know how else to describe it. Coconut and vanilla maybe. Yeah, it smells like Island Sun. That's what it is and it's super pretty and I've had it forever. So that's what I'm saying. Like the old ones are the stronger ones. And then all the new ones don't smell like nothing to me. The new ones that I bought. So yeah, but I haven't bought them for a long time because of that reason. So now on to Bath and Body Works, which I think is superior when it comes to body sprays. Well, because I think it's superior overall. But anyways, okay, so here's another teeny. Here's the body spray that was in the gift set that the friend that's no longer my friend gave to me. This has silver sparkles in it and it's blue. And I love this scent a lot. Smack. That was my thing. This didn't ever come out like a spray. It always came out like a squirt. But yeah, I love this scent so much. It's so good. I can't believe I still have some left. I thought I finished it, but it is uh, sparkly, so I don't really use it much anymore. And it has silver sparkles. So yeah, like on a special occasion or whatever, you know, this one's so nice. I love it. So next I have Vanilla B. Noel, of course, because she's queen. Next I have Be Joyful, which is another shimmer mist, I think. Okay, in the bottle, it looks like they're silver, but I know for a fact these are gold sparkles. This is a Christmassy scent, so, and it's like on the fruity end rather than sweet. But yeah, um, Cashmere Glow because she is queen as well. And she's almost gone. Like, that makes me so upset. Sunset by the Pool, which is an ultimate summer scent. It smells like pineapples and everything nice, okay? She is amazing. She smells like pineapple. She's great. I love Sunset by the Pool. Seaside Mimosa. Sounds familiar. Do I have a candle? It's not very strong. I don't know. It smells like generic perfume low-key, though. But it also kind of gives you that oceany vibe at the same time but i don't know it kind of just smells like generic perfume velvet sugar queen so good it smells like freaking bomb that's all i have to say it's like sweet but it's fruity there's it's like a perfect balance of both and it's absolutely amazing it looks like it's a valentine's day scent okay and then i have pink confetti it's similar to pink chiffon it smells almost identical to pink chiffon and they discontinued pink chiffon so yeah, she's fruity, but she's sweet. I don't know. She's a nice scent. And same with pink chiffon. She smells like flowers and she is discontinued. So yeah, but I used to get this scent all the time. This and Parasimore, um, Sensible Amber. Those are like the first couple scents that I got about the body work. Bourbon Strawberry and Vanilla is also clean. And I have a body cream, but it's not here. Okay, so those are all of my Bath and Body Works stuff, and I really should end the video here, but you know, I'm extra and I'm not going to. So let's move on to the candle section. So I'm going to start off with black tie. My mother gave this to me for either my birthday or Christmas, I don't remember, but I love it. It kind of smells like men, but there's better scents that smell like men that are there. Green sage, patchouli, sandalwood, and tonka bean. Okay. But yeah, black tie. <laughs> Really nice, I like this one. Okay, so next I have Honey Vanilla, which I absolutely love. It's sweet, but it's a nice and subtle sweet, so it's not too sweet. So if you're one of those people that hate sweet scents, but you like sweet scents at the same time, this is for you. So next I have Merci, Merci Paris. This one is sweet, but it also smells like perfume. It's very nice. I love this one a lot. This one's Vanilla, Black Currant, and Jasmine. I can smell the jasmine and the vanilla. So yeah, it smells like a flower, but it also smells very vanilla and it smells like Paris. I love this one. So this one is Frosted Sugar Cookie. If you are a sweet scent hater, this is your enemy. I honestly don't even like this one that much, honestly. I like it, but you have to be in the mood to, to smell this candle or else you'll get sick. That is strong. That is very sweet. I love how accurate Bath & Body Works candles are. Like you look at that title and that's exactly what you're gonna get. Y'all get a strong whiff of it too. Okay, so next row we have some summer candles and I got two rows of summer candles. So let's get into it. And most, I think all of them have mango in it. Okay, yes, I knew this was familiar. So I have Seaside Melissa, which is gone. One of my first candles at Bath & Body Works. But I also have it in a body spray. And this smells like burnt. Burnt, it just smells burnt. It smells like nothing. 
just like the body spray look at y'all it really don't smell like nothing for real it says oranges and no I don't smell any of that so this is mango mai tai it smells like mango and i love it this one is pineapple mango super fruity it smells like juice and it's the one i was currently burning actually this is the one that was sitting out on my dresser we have tiki mango mai tai we had mango mai tai but this is tiki and they smell exactly the same this one's a little bit more leafy it smells more green it has the exact same description but yeah it smells like you're on vacation i love that one and it's not too strong it's not too much it's not overpowering so next i have mango dragon fruit this one smells like a smoothie kind of island mango pink dragon fruit i don't know what dragon fruit smells like bright mandarin and red currant and then i also have tuscan lemon tart the only summer candle that is not mango themed well besides seaside mimosa also burned down to the bottom and also smells like nothing because it's burned down to the bottom but when i did have it it was a nice candle and look at how pretty like it's all sparkly on top okay so here are my winter scents this one is mary mimosa she's nice she's like a fruity christmasy scent i've been burning that this winter um but now that winter's over i switched to pineapple mango vanilla snowflake which is still very strong um surprisingly i love this one it smells like ice and vanilla at the same time icy vanilla it's so nice and it reminds me of one of these i just don't know which one but i love it vanilla teeny it reminds me of vanilla teeny and i really like it yep vanilla and coconut there it is and then i also have vanilla be noel because we already know she is superior and look at these this packaging so cute i'll be showing stuff so fast thinking y'all can see it so last but not least i have fall scents um i know a lot of people really like fall scents i have mixed emotions about fall scents anyways i have salted caramel which is <sighs> salted caramel that is exactly what it smells like and that is strong and in the fall this is wonderful this is amazing the more you smell it the better it gets like if you don't like sweet scents then just don't even come near this but yeah it smells like salted caramel and I love salted caramel. It is a great flavor, okay? Then I have vanilla pumpkin marshmallow, which is hecka sweet. I don't even know how to smell it, and I know it. Vanilla pumpkin and marshmallow, like, really? It's so nice. It's not too strong. Like, it's not as strong as you would think it would be. I think the pumpkin tones it down because pumpkin is absolutely awful. <laughs> but anyways, pumpkin spice, vanilla, caramel, and marshmallow. That's what it is. And it smells really good. It's like fall on a candle, like... It's not too strong. And then I also have leaves, which pretty much everyone has. But look at this packaging. It looks like a blanket and it's so cute. Leaves smell like cinnamon and outside. And it smells really good. I love it. This is also fall in a candle. It's freaking great. Let us move on to body scrubs, which I have sitting over here. Okay, so first I have this Dove Body Polish, exfoliating, exfoliating Body Polish, which I'm pretty sure everybody has because I see everybody has this on my Snapchat story and everything. But yeah, I have it in Crushed Macadamia, Macadamia and Rice Milk. It's, it's sweet. It's a sweet scent, kind of. But it's not too sweet. It's really nice. I love this one. And I love Dove. That's my brand. Though I get their Cucumber Melon Body Wash usually, and that's what I pretty much use all over my body. And then here is the body scrub, which I use on my pamper nights. I don't use it every day. Like, it's not something I keep in the shower. It's something I keep in my cupboard. And I grab it when I take a bath. So, yeah. Um, when I'm shaving and all of that, you know. Then I also have this, which tree hut scrubs. If you don't have tree hut scrubs, are you sleeping? Like, what's wrong with you? Anyways, this is Tahitian vanilla bean. And it barely smells like anything. It doesn't really smell like anything they're just really cute and they're really effective i like using this on my feet because it's more grainy in a way more grainy than this one this one's more soft and smooth this one is more like a gel-like consistency and it's grainier and it has more sand in it and i really like to use it on my feet you know to really get in there because no crusty feet honey no crusty feet that is disgusting so you got to use a really nice body scrub and I like this one. And then I also have my Bath and Body Works Almond and Vanilla Clay Body Scrub. So you know how there's clay face masks? This is a clay body scrub. And this one's really nice. This smells just like the lotion. So next I have Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Soap in Peppermint. And if you have used this, you know that it makes you feel like a peppermint. I mainly just use it on my face now, but even that I have to use it sparingly because it's 
strong very strong but i do sometimes use it on my body and if you put it on your lady parts <laughs> it's gonna be hell of a ride like it's not gonna hurt you or anything but like because it's all natural ingredients or at least i don't think but because it hasn't hurt me or anything but you know you're gonna feel like a peppermint you're gonna feel it you're gonna feel it honey it's strong but yeah i am in love with this soap it just makes you feel so clean shea butter because i love shea butter i have the shea moisture shea butter because i bought it in an emergency but i don't really use it um and then i also have african shea butter which is superior um i love african shea butter i use this on my face mainly but sometimes i use it on my body but yeah i pretty much use it on my face so next let me just finish off everything that's over here i have box sets that were gifts to me um that i haven't opened yet so this one my aunt gave to me a long time ago i'm saying maybe my 16th birthday and i'm about to turn 20 so four years ago um maybe i don't know i just know it was long so maybe for christmas i don't know but this is super cute it's just a perfume and the perfume bottle is really nice and cute i don't know what it smells like obviously because i haven't opened it but yeah just a matching set and it's 3.4 fluid ounces so tsa try me i'm pretty sure my sister gives it to the, this to me but look at how cute it is so i didn't want to take it out of its packaging but it's a victoria's secret scent so i know it don't smell like nothing anyway so it's okay that i kept it in this packaging because i really like having gold accents so um i didn't have it when i first got it i had it displayed in my room but then i put it away but when i move i'll probably put it back out on display because i do think it's really cute so yeah there's that and it's in the scent heavenly so yeah, and it's a mist and a lotion. And then lastly, my cousin gave this to me, or her parents, or her, I don't know. But I danced at her birthday party. I do traditional run and dance. I danced solo for the second time, because the first time was my mom's wedding. No, 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 that was the first time. The second time was my mom's wedding. So I danced solo for the first time, and it was it was kind of nervous. I got so nervous that I literally left mid-performance. And I did it at my mom's wedding as well, because I was tired. But anyways, um, but yeah, I danced for her at her birthday party and it was kind of like a surprise and her parents and her both, they all gifted me with this Clinique um, hand cream and body cream and it looks super cute. I have not opened it up yet. I haven't gotten to try it yet, but I definitely will. I'm super excited about that. Um, okay, so that's everything on this neck of the woods. Now let's go to the neck of the woods that y'all cannot see. So I have my a uh, blue wave piercing spray saline spray um to clean my piercing because i got my doubles shaving cream i switched between eos and skin cement so i have a mini size skin cement and okay so i have a mini size skin cement in raspberry rain and the cap doesn't stay on so i don't know how great that's gonna be for travel but it's supposed to be for travel and then I also have Skin to Mint Lotionized. Um, that's just a full size. It's what I'm using in the shower right now. I have another one in the shower right now. And then I also have EOS in Pomegranate Raspberry. And I think I like EOS better. It kind of goes on like lotion and it's really leaving me smooth. But I also really like Skin to Mint. I like them both. I want to try waxing one day, but I don't want to pay for that. I don't want to have to make it something that like, I have to make an appointment and all of that. Like I like to just get things done on my own, you know? But maybe when I'm richer, you know, I got time, you feel me, like, oh, I'm gonna go get a wax, you know, I'm just gonna go get a wax, a little bikini wax, you feel me? Maybe when I am have more money is because I don't want to make that an appointment thing. So I haven't tried it yet, but maybe one day. But for now, I just shave. I don't like it. I don't because I don't like having razor bumps. I don't like it, but, you know, gotta do what I gotta do. So, yeah. I have... A bath bomb this is a thousand wishes that i just haven't used yet i know for a fact that i got this on my 16th birthday four-year-old bath bomb maybe not i don't know i just know it was a gift and i was a younger younger person so next i have this mary Kay vanilla berry hand cream that my old cheer coach gave to me on christmas um we were doing our secret santa gift exchange and she gave us all gifts she gave us little like bracelets she worked for mary Kay, so um we all got like Mary Kay sets and then friendship bracelets, like horseshoe bracelets. They were really cute and I wore mine for like two years until, I don't know, I didn't think, I don't think I lost it. I just stopped wearing bracelets. But yeah, um, yeah, I like this. It's, it's cute or whatever. It's hand cream or whatever. It's almost gone. But yeah. So next I have more lotion. This is body lotion in the tiniest of bottles and I have never used it before and I'm pretty sure it was a gift. 
and it's not yeah it's not even open and i'm not gonna open it because it doesn't look that interesting okay i'm gonna go with like my everyday lotions if you have this you know that this is the worst lotion to exist i have never seen such and it says extreme it has the nerve to say extremely dry skin bye this is the runniest lotion that is just awful it's like rubbing water on your skin no not even water water and lotion on your skin have you ever washed your hands and tried to put on lotion directly after that's what this is terrible and that's why i have not used any of it so the body lotion that i do use is vaseline i also use jergens um and i think coconut or maybe i don't know but yeah i use cocoa butter vaseline majority of the time and then i also use johnson baby oil but i know like they like started causing cancer or something so i will not be buying their baby oil anymore i will find a new baby oil but i don't know if it's true but just to be safe i will be getting a different baby oil but i'm gonna finish this off because you know that's money i like long videos i really do but I, uh, filming them are a different story so here is a body mist and it is coconut and it's mini and it's cute and this was also a gift from somebody i don't talk to anymore it smells really nice i like it it came in like a set she gave me like a set there's like body wash in it and i don't know where the rest of it is i don't know if i used it but yeah this smells really good so i like it so yeah okay so next i have massage cream it smells really good so this is flavored massage cream in the flavor strawberry smoothies so next i have this set it had to have been a gift i just don't remember who from but it's a set and I have shower gel, body lotion, foaming bubble bath, ooh, and hand wash. No hand lotion? Okay, we use body lotion. And they are all under, no they're not, TSA got me man. But this hand wash is 2.53 fluid ounces, so fight me TSA. Anyways, the rest are 3.72, but whatever. That is everything and girl is turd i'm tired y'all that is absolutely everything in my body care collection i hope you enjoyed watching i am so sorry that this is three hours long maybe i'll edit it and get it to condense it to like 30 minutes but i highly doubt it but that's okay um if you made it this far i absolutely love you with all of my heart i really do i really appreciate you because you're great and if you're watching the ads too i just like we're family at this point i literally love you so much but anyways thank you so so much for watching and i will see you guys next time <laughs>